Welcome back to Ideal Bike Channel. Today we're gonna install the Shad SH59X top case on the Honda NC750X. I will try to make this installation guide as clear as possible for you. Let's start! With a 10 mm spanner we take off the seat by removing these two bolts, this one here and this one here. Just be careful not to lose the washer. Now carefully take the seat out. Now we're gonna remove the pillion seat. There are three 10 millimeters over there. And now we can start uh, mounting the rack. We can take out the plastic protections from the screws. You're gonna use an S2 T40. Let's start with the left side. Be careful about the washers. And this will easily come out. That's it. Now you have to place the shut rack over here and on top you will come with the original rack from Honda just like this and you're gonna use the original screws The same procedure we're gonna repeat also on the right side. On the right side there is a trick with um, the opening mechanism from the pillion seat. You just have to push it all the way up and then you can take out the rack like this. Now just put back the screws. You can put back the plastic protections. Now we can put back the seats. The next part will be to install this plate on the rack. First you have to take out these four screws. and the top will come out. To mount this plate on the rack, you have uh, actually two options. These are the parts provided for the plate and actually in the picture it says you can use these ones. And you have these bolts which are provided uh, in the rack package. So you can use this also. Let's see how we mount it actually. After we've uh, fitted the plate to come exactly in the center, you can see here, the second bolt will be here, also here, the third one, and the fourth one over here. So actually this is exactly on the middle. And the first option will be to put these pieces over here. So this is the first option. This option is provided in the installation guide. So you can see here very clearly at uh, point 10. And in the top case assembly you have uh, another option. Check out. Check out here. This metal parts with the same bolts but uh, in the picture it just shows 
a totally wrong place to place it. According to the picture, I have to place it somewhere here. Doesn't uh, fit actually because uh, the top will come over it. Or it says to place it over here. The same thing. So the solution will be to place it like this. I don't find it's a bad solution. Check out. As you can see now, it's perfectly in the middle. Just check it out. Also, I have noticed that uh, these metal plates are keeping much better the um, the plate, the plastic plate in place. And uh, I will leave it like this. To tie them up, you need an S2-5. Now you can put back the top. Now let's install the backrest. The backrest uh, looks quite okay. It's uh, very soft. And it has a synthetic leather over here with a lot of grip on it. That's the upper part. Very soft on this side. And uh, waterproof. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description with a very professional video with a backrest installation made by Shad. The backrest mounting is not so complicated. First, you have to remove six bolts to install the upper backrest. Here are four bolts. And on the sides you have another two bolts, one over here and the second one on the right side. After you remove the six bolts, this plastic part will come out. And on the back side you have the signs to drill four holes for the screws. Now we have some very nice 6mm holes. It's time to attach the backrest from the plastic part. And now we have to place these clips in four of these positions. Just like this. You'll just have to mount them on this position. Please don't mount them like this. This is the correct position. And now just place the plastic uh, part over the backrest and put back the four screws. Each screw will come with a provided plastic washer, so don't forget to put that. Before you mount back the backrest and the plastic uh, support, Check out these slots from the top case on the lower part. You have to put the plastic support and the backrest in those slots carefully. Now it's time to put the lower part on. For this we have to extend the case to its maximum capacity to XXL position. And on the back we have uh, two holes where we're gonna put the screws. But first we have to drill. <laughs> After you put back the metal clippers, you have to place the lower backrest with this sign, like this.
I would say that the bike looks very nice with the shut top case. It's not so big as I thought at the beginning. Now it's open to its uh, XXL position with uh, 59 liters. It's quite big. It has uh, three positions, L, XL and XXL. And you can adjust it uh, according to your needs. Now it's in the L position, it looks uh, even better. That's the aluminium model, it has a very nice finishing. This includes also a backrest, which uh, adds some extra comfort to the passenger. Let's check out uh, how the key works. Now it's in the closed position, you can switch to open position press here then you can press on the upper side just underneath and the case will open you have some straps also the plastic looks uh, quite resistant it's uh, quite thick you can load the uh, maximum 10 kilos on this uh, top case and the maximum speed uh, allowed it's uh, 120 kilometers per hour to take out the top case you just have to move the key to release position press this one and in the same time pull this one and that's it you can take it out and also you can then mount it back very easily these uh, three parts will go in just over here if you want to put it gently back you can pull this one and it will enter here with no problem to release it just like this or it can clamp like this it was my pleasure to present you this video if you like the content don't hesitate to subscribe and see you next time bye bye